If you are tired of posting seven times a week on Instagram only to be frustrated at the fact that you're not growing, and if you're sick of the pressure to constantly create new content to appease the algorithm, you should start a YouTube channel instead. So I launched my channel a year ago and honestly, the ability to make longer form videos during my process or my workflow or my studio even, rather than creating a perfectly composed photo of my work that had a lifespan of a day or creating a really trendy reel that had a lifespan of a week has honestly been really freeing for me. The content on YouTube has such a longer lifespan, especially if you make search driven content or studio vlogs or painting processes, they have such a longer lifespan, they're more evergreen kinds of content. And I don't feel like I'm throwing something out there only to get nothing in return. I feel like I'm building a portfolio, like a solid base of videos that I can call back on when I launch a similar kind of video. Posting on Instagram, at least for me, didn't feel like I was building anything. Do you know what I mean? It felt like I was constantly grinding, constantly trying to grow while never getting the engagement, never getting my posts actually out to people who followed me, and never growing on the platform. And I was really frustrated at that. And Facebook, the company behind Instagram, constantly makes it harder and harder for artists like us to grow. And it feels like they're not in the journey with us. You know, they're not rooting for me to succeed in the same way that I feel like YouTube is. Instagram doesn't really share a lot of information on how to actually grow on the platform. So it feels really opaque and not at all transparent. And it feels like I'm constantly researching things about hashtags and like what right amount. Should they be in the post? Should they be in the first comment? I have no idea. Does it even matter? It feels like it's so hard to figure out what to do right that I end up feeling paralyzed and not wanting to do anything at all. Where on YouTube, the information is so much more transparent, it's so much clearer. And the analytics, the analytics, YouTube analytics actually show you what you're doing right, what content's working, and what's not, and why. And why? I can look at my audience retention graph and figure out I said too many ums there, I didn't have another scene break, I should have been more attention grabbing, where on Instagram, it's like, okay, this post didn't do well, but like, fuck you, we're not gonna tell you why. And I felt so lost as a creator, so left in the dark, it was really frustrating. And so eventually in March, I just stopped posting altogether. Instagram wants you to post a bunch of things every single week using all of their features from stories to IGTVs to carousels to reels to I don't even know what else they have right now. And that expectation is a lot, especially for artists like us and we have to actually create something to post on Instagram. We can post works in progress, we can post uh, updates from us, but like our content is our art. And that pressure to constantly post means that we have a pressure to constantly create. And that can be enormously creatively stifling and a great way to have an enormous art block and burnout. And it's actually even worse than this because a factor that Instagram takes into consideration when deciding whether or not to boost your post is actually how long you spend on the platform, not even as a creator, but as a consumer. So they want you to become addicted to the platform. They want you to never leave. They want you to constantly be posting. They want you to be insecure about your growth. They want you to be buying ads. You can grow a little bit more, which I spent hundreds of dollars on when I was trying to grow my own account. And that's awful. That is not sustainable as a creator, um, especially as one who like isn't making a lot of money. And you're doing all of this grinding, but you're not building anything. There's no guarantee that you'll actually get any monetary return on this investment. Whereas on YouTube, I'm not monetized right now, uh, that you could subscribe and help me get there if you want to, but I feel like every single video that I post is a stepping stone to getting there, right? I feel like every single video that I post on YouTube is another like chunk in this passive income portfolio that I'm eventually going to see returns on even though I'm not right now. And that idea is such a radical shift. It makes me be far more willing to spend more time making quality videos that deliver value to my audience and actually help solve problems for people while sharing my story and sharing my content and sharing my art. I don't feel this same enormous pressure on my shoulders to grow all the time on YouTube to make every single post better than the last one, even though I try to do that because I know that YouTube can pick up one of my videos at any point. My most popular video was like my third ever and it has almost 10,000 views, which is a lot for me as a really small channel, but 
that video was picked up and became really popular like six months after I uploaded it. On YouTube, every single video that I post is an investment in my future. So even if it doesn't do well right away, I know that it has the possibility that potential do well in the future. It has such a much longer lifespan. That was a tongue twister. And on Instagram, reels only have a lifespan of a few weeks. Posts only have a lifespan of a few hours, maybe a day if you're lucky, I guess. And stories go after 24 hours and I'm not even sure about IGTV is. They probably have a short lifespan too. So it doesn't feel like an investment. It feels like a constant grind that never stops. Whereas on YouTube, I could see myself like being comfortable at some point, not really being focusing on growth anymore, just focused on value. And that is such a difference in mentality as a creator. It's so much more conducive to like actually a sustainable work-life balance, I guess. If I'm considering YouTube my job, which it's not yet, but thinking about it like that, it's such a radical difference. And that's why I think if you're really frustrated by your results on Instagram, if you are really tired and exhausted of feeling like you're not growing, like you're not doing enough, I'd really suggest that you try posting on YouTube because it is an investment. Every single video is an investment in this passive income portfolio that you're building. And honestly, I've been able to build a much better, much more involved, much more engaged community here on YouTube than anywhere else. I've become friends with people in the comments. If you guys are old to my channel, if you've been here before, you'll know that I respond to basically every single comment and I remember you. Uh, people who comment on my videos all the time, I like learn their names. I learned about like who they are. I go to their own channel, I check them out too. We develop this online friendship, this connection. And I can't really do that as well on Instagram because it feels more shallow and more artificial. I never really develop that closeness, I guess, so to speak. I did with some people, but it didn't feel the same as it does here on YouTube. It's this more intangible thing that's hard to describe. I'm sorry about that, but my community is much more engaged and I'm getting a lot more views, a lot more likes, a lot more comments than I ever did on Instagram, even though my audience was like three times as big. And I know what you're thinking. You'd be saying to yourself, okay, that's great. She's, you know, getting more success on YouTube than she was on Instagram, but YouTube is a lot of work. You have to film the video, you have to edit, you have to upload it. There's so much more that goes into content creation on YouTube than it is on Instagram. And yes, that's largely true, but I would actually say that I find editing and filming to be an extension of my creativity. I'm allowed to express myself, to try new things, and I really enjoy video editing. I think it's really fun, and a lot of artists here in the art community on YouTube would agree with me. They think editing is an absolute blast. It's another way to be artistic and to express yourself. There's so much you can do in the world of editing that makes it really fun. And yes, it does take me like many hours to edit a video. I would say that the average vlog maybe takes me like six hours to edit, whereas a video like this one might take me three or four. Um, that's a long time, I guess, sure. But it feels more genuine. It feels like I'm able to share more about myself, develop a more personal connection, but also there's less pressure to like create a new piece with every video because I can make videos that provide value like this one. I can make tutorials, I can make reviews, I can make vlogs. And in all of those things, I don't have to finish a new piece. As an oil painter, it takes me a long time to make a new painting from days to even multiple weeks. Um, and so having this pressure to constantly post like a new work of art was unsustainable for me. It just did not work. But here on YouTube, I can make tutorials. I can make like really in-depth productions about reimagining like a Studio Ghibli film or something. And I'm rewarded for that creativity by the platform. And that is such a positive that's such a dramatic shift from the way that Instagram treated me as a creator and the way that I felt Instagram treated a lot of other creators. And so I would say that YouTube allows me to be more creative. It allows me to have a more healthy work-life balance. And it allows me to have a more open, honest, and genuine connection with people who watch my videos and view my content. Instagram is dying for the artist, at least. It's not treating us with any modicum of respect as a creator, as a content creator. And it's increasingly difficult to grow on the platform so much that it's becoming unsustainable. And 
the fact that they want you to be addicted to the platform in the first place is really toxic. So yeah, I left. Um, if you're watching this, you're thinking of leaving too, I would recommend that you just go for it. Start a YouTube channel, start a Patreon, find a more sustainable, healthy work-life balance for yourself. Find a better way to be an artist on social media than just grinding on Instagram all the time. Um, and you'll be so much happier. I promise. Shifting over to YouTube from Instagram has helped me enormously. I feel like I can actually grow as an artist here on YouTube, whereas on Instagram, there's this constant pressure to be a really cohesive kind of brand. Whereas on YouTube, I can explore, I can evolve. My channel will grow with me. It'll evolve as my own interests do, as my own art practice does. And it's just better. <laughs> That's it, it's just better. <laughs> That's the whole video. Um, Anyway, that's basically all that I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you're interested in learning more about how to grow your own art channel from the ground up, consider watching this video right here. Anyway, comment down below what you think of this whole thing and I'll see you in the next one.